Harry Potter and the Magical Stone that has a different name depending on where you live, is the first book in the series that sparked a global phenomenon. In it, while attending his first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Harry Potter learns the evil Voldemort, or maybe Snape working on Voldemort's behalf, plans to steal this frighteningly powerful stone. Harry is unconvinced by others' assurances that the stone is being kept perfectly safe in a hidden and well-guarded part of the castle. So he, Hermione, and Ron attempt to steal it themselves before it can fall in the wrong hands. The stone is locked away in a forbidden underground chamber and protected by seven trials, each contributed by a different member of Hogwarts staff. First is Hagrid's massive three-headed guard dog, Fluffy. Then a deadly web of Devil's Snare. A room of charmed flying keys. A life-sized and life-or-death game of wizard's chess. A mountain troll, even larger than the one they had previously battled. A potions riddle. And finally, the Mirror of Erised. Only five of these trials made it to the big screen, while the second mountain troll and the potions riddle were both cut. In the movie, after Ron sacrifices himself so they can win the game of wizard's chess, Hermione stays back to help him while Harry moves on alone. And the very next room we see is the final chamber with the mirror. In the book though, Harry and Hermione both continue onward, possibly just leaving Ron for dead. Sorry man, you're on your own. The next trial is supposed to be the mountain troll, but it's already been knocked out by the time they get there, so they just quickly move on. And then they come across the penultimate trial, the potions riddle, which was designed by then potions professor Severus Snape. As soon as they enter the room, walls of purple and black fires ignite and block the ways backward and forward. Atop a table, there are seven differently shaped bottles in a line, and a roll of paper that provides the necessary clues to deduce which of the bottles are harmful or helpful. It reads, Danger lies before you while safety lies behind. Two of us will help you, whichever you would find. One among us seven will let you move ahead. Another will transport the drinker back instead. Two among our number hold only nettle wine. Three of us are killers, waiting hidden in line. Choose unless you wish to stay here forevermore. To help you in your choice, we give you these clues for. First, however slyly the poison tries to hide, you will always find some on nettle wine's left side. Second, different are those who stand at either end. But if you would move onwards, neither is your friend. Third, as you see clearly, all are different size. Neither dwarf nor giant holds death in their insides. Fourth, the second left and second on the right are twins once you taste them, though different at first sight. The artwork here is from the official Pottermore website, so you can see the different sizes of the bottles. Without that information, we can't exactly try to solve it alongside Hermione when reading the book, since she can see them but we can't. She's delighted, by the way, at the chance to solve a good logic puzzle. And she remarks how a lot of the greatest wizards haven't got an ounce of logic. They'd be stuck in here forever. This one will take some careful thought. Your objective is to identify which two bottles contain the potions that will help you forwards and backwards. Pause the video here to try to solve it yourself, and then continue when you're ready for the answer. Alright, so the first half of the note basically explains the setup of the puzzle, and we'll use a logic grid to help stay organized here. There are seven bottles with different liquids in them. One of them will somehow help you move forward to the final trial. One of them will help you go back the way you came from. Two of them are wine, and three of them are poison. Now let's look at the four clues. 
The third one tells us that neither the dwarf nor the giant, referring to the smallest and largest bottles, contain poison. So the third and sixth bottles are not poison. The fourth clue tells us that the second left and second right are twins once you taste them, meaning they contain the same type of liquid. Well, we know the second right isn't poison, so if its liquid is the same as another bottle's liquid, then the only other thing it can be is wine. So bottles two and six both contain wine. And if that's the case, then bottles one and five contain poison since according to the first clue, we'll always find poison to the left of wine. The second clue tells us that bottles 1 and 7 contain different liquids, but that neither will help us move forwards. So bottle 7 can't be the forward potion or poison, since bottle 1 contains poison. By a process of elimination, it has to be the potion that sends you backwards. Then there's only one remaining possibility for bottle 3. It must be the potion that helps us move forward. And then lastly, bottle 4 must be the final poison. Did you manage to work out which two bottles held the potions you needed to complete the trial? Hopefully if you drank from the wrong bottle, you're just a little drunk at worst and not poisoned. Personally, I wish this puzzle had made it into the movie, and apparently there's a weird Mandela effect thing going on where lots of people remember it being in the movie, even though it wasn't. People swear by this, it's bizarre. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. For more great logic puzzles, you know you're already in the right place. Until next time, happy puzzling.